Hi guys, Craft Geek Dioramas here. Um, as all of you know, I make um, obviously a lot of dioramas and um, I just thought what I would do is share some um, custom made figures that I make for myself. Um, this is another sort of hobby that I have. Um, I've only just kind of started out doing it. I've done a, um, a few and this is my most recent one. Um, and I had quite a few people asking me um, how I put um, him together. So what I thought I'd do is kind of show you um, a brief overview of of the figure and the parts and how I got them and what I did and stuff. So uh, if anybody of interest, you know, um, it might be interesting for you. Um, I'm a huge fan of Sons of Anarchy um, and a huge fan of Jax Teller. Um, watched all six seasons in about two months <laughs> um, about started sort of in um, February this year so really late to the game with um, Sons of Anarchy um, but absolutely loved the show and uh, I love Charlie Hunman in the role um, and as soon as I w finished watching it I knew that I wanted to make um, a custom figure of him um, I've seen quite a few around um, that people have kitbashed because obviously there is no official figure of him um, in one six scale apart from um, a Mezco um, solid figure which I'll go into in a minute because I did use a part of that for this um, but I wanted something um, a little bit more realistic than, than the solid figure um, so Asking around on a lot of the one six groups on Facebook, I kind of got um, an idea of where to get the parts and so forth from. So I can't take all credit um, for sourcing everything myself. I sourced quite a bit myself, um, but I did have help um, on this one. Okay, so if we start, obviously overall, um, what I wanted, the look I wanted is when he was president. So we're looking at sort of series, probably for this series five and six really. Um, I preferred his kind of look um, in these series and I actually preferred the head of this. Um, I did have another head that I had um, which was a, I think it was a Rocco head but it was a recast of it and um, I really didn't like it. It was um, it was too rough for me and I'm a little bit anal when it comes to stuff like that so I was after the Mezco head for quite some time and uh, I was lucky enough to get it at a reasonable price because the Mezco figure, um, the 12 inch figure was going for sort of 30, 40 pounds here in the UK. And I just wasn't willing to pay that just, just to get the head. Um, but I came across one luckily um, and managed to get a whole figure for 15 pounds. So pulling the head off didn't seem quite so harsh. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically the head here um, is a from the Mezco 12 inch figure. Um, which I popped off. The head I haven't quite finished yet purely because it needs repainting but um, it took me so long to put this figure together that I didn't want to um, send it away yet to be done but it's not too bad um, but it, it could do with a, a, a better paint job on it. Um, so the head was from that. Um, the cigarette I wanted him to have a cigarette because Jax Teller is always smoking. If you've ever watched Sons of Anarchy, he constantly smokes throughout the whole thing. So to me, he had to have his um, his cigarette. And this cigarette here um, is from the um, Marshall figure from the Gangster Kingdom figure line. Um, which um, I what I did is I made a hole in because this is quite soft rubber. Uh, it's not solid like um, a normal 1-6 head so I pushed um, a bradle, it's very small bradle into his lips here and I was able to to slot the cigarette in so it actually makes it look a bit more um, realistic and the great thing about this Marshall um, cigarette accessory from the Gangster Kingdom line it has got the actual um, part that makes it look like the smoke coming away from the cigarette so I just thought that looked quite cool so that's what I used for that the actual body that I used um, was a damn toys body. Um, I wanted something quite slender because I wanted the ba the clothes to look baggy. Um, so it was a damn toys figure that I got from collectible collectible kit bash here in the UK, and I think it was only fifteen pounds for the for the basic figure, which is really reasonable. And I have to say, it's an amazing figure, really really good articulation on it. Um, so that was that. 
Um, next thing was, this so we're going to the clothes. The white t-shirt that he's wearing underneath was a um, Steve Rogers Captain America uh, t-shirt, which was like a, um, a knockoff version um, from China. And it came with jeans, but um, I used the jeans on something else, which I'll show you in another figure that I did. So I used the white t-shirt um, underneath there. And the star that I wanted, I wanted the check shirt, which a lot of people um, have kit bashed when they've made Jack's Teller. I was going to use a black hoodie, but it was all too bulky and I couldn't get the um, uh, the leather cut on him. So I decided to go with the with the check shirt. And the check shirt is from ZY Toys. Um, they do a shirt and jean um, a set. The jeans aren't from that set that he's wearing here. These are different jeans, but I've kept the jeans because I could probably use them again in something else. And it was something like £12 from China shipped. So, you know, £6 for a shirt, basically. And it's quite close to what he wears um, in, I think it's season six in the show. Um, the leather cut, which he's wearing, this is probably one of the most expensive things of the whole of the figure that I bought. Um, and that is from um, Old Days of Yore from the USA. It took um, about nine weeks for it to come here to the UK and uh, it's handmade so I can understand why it took so long. Um, and when it came it, it looked brand new, which obviously it was, so what I needed to do was to um, weather it up a little bit so I used a bit of sandpaper um, to make it look more worn which sounds a bit crazy when I paid £40 for a leather coat but I you know it had to look right for me um, and obviously if I turn Jack's around he's got his um, you can kind of see the uh, the weathering that I did on the jacket I'll go into the patches next um, so you can see how I did those um, yeah, so the, the patches um, were from One Sixth Scale King, um, again based in, in the USA, and they make um, One Sixth Scale patches for anything really, and they do the, um, the Sons of Anarchy line. So um, they do it in different packs, so um, one pack may come with, say, four patches, so I had to buy a few packs of those, but they were really reasonable, they were sort of like three or four dollars each per pack. Um, and I, the only thing I couldn't put on him was his um, little things that are on the collar because it just wouldn't fit on here. But you know, it's pretty much um, to what it's like in the show. So he's got his president patch, his men of mayhem, the redwood original patches, and he's got his in memory of Opie patch and the Sam Crow patch. And on the back, he's obviously got his Sons of Anarchy. Um, the skeleton there and the California and the motorcycle club badge on the back um, and the way that I applied those was just was pure super glue um, and I weathered them up with some pastels to make them look worn because they're obviously nice and shiny and white when they arrive so that's what I did with that just getting them back in line there um, the jeans that he's wearing I wanted them to be quite baggy so I used a uh, jeans that came for a TTM 20 figure, which is like the Terminator size figure. So they would be bigger on him. Um, and they again came from um, Kitchen, who's on eBay and on Facebook. And uh, I got them through him and he's absolutely fantastic. They come through in about a week. So that's amazing from China to, to the UK. So I bought those because they're, they look baggier on him. Um, the belt that he's wearing really hard to get something that would um, be quite similar to what he wears in the show and that one there is from um, a Harry Potter figure the serious black figure the one six figure that you can get of him um, so I bought that separately from a, an online store in France that do um, scale accessories um, I think it was about £12 in UK money um, and that's probably the closest, apart from the emblem bit on the front, that I've um, found to look like his belt. Um, the white Nike trainers, 
Um, they have got the little Nike tag on them, but what I did when they came, they were gold. Well, the, the shoes were white, but the tag was gold. And obviously in, in the show, he wears pure white Nike, Nike Air trainers. So I just painted um, the Nike tick white. Um, and that looks quite cool. So they're pretty, pretty damn similar to, to the show. Also, Jax has a chain that he wears throughout the whole seasons so what I did there was I just got an old necklace that I had and I um, cut it all down and fixed it to his jeans and then tucked it into his back pocket so that kind of makes it look realistic and he's also got his knife there which actually has got the knife inside of the sheath there and that's pretty close to the show um, but I got that from a 1-6 page um, on Facebook so I don't know where the original source was for that um, but it's pretty close to the show um, so that's pretty good and I just got this here um, again through the pages I just wanted him to have a gun I wanted sort of a submachine gun type thing it's probably not completely screen accurate as my husband told me um, from what he would use but it's for me it looks pretty good and I, I like the look of it um, so yes yeah, so that's basically my figure and what I can do is I can go a little bit closer for you guys so you can kind of see him up close um, just zooming in there so you can see that the, the um, you can see the face needs repainting and once it's repainted by um, somebody who specialises in 1-6 scale or, you know, figure painting, it will look completely different. Um, up close he looks rough at the moment. Further away um, he looks pretty good. So, like I say, I will be sending him off to be done and I might do a quick update when it comes back, but I'm not doing that quite yet. Um, and you can kind of see where I've weathered up the the jacket. And his lovely white shoes, very white shoes. If I turn him around, it's very hard to do this when uh, holding the camera. You can kind of see um, the weathering. I didn't want to go too far because it would tear the jacket. And then you can see the kind of weathering that I did on the um, the patches. Turn him around. Yeah, so there you go. So that is my Jax Teller um, custom figure. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, like I say, I'll show you a few more that I've made. Thanks for watching. Bye.